Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we do some practice examples on NFA. In our previous class, we already discussed about what's NFA and how NFA is executed. So the intuition about how NFA is executed, that intuition is very, very important to understand this class. So please watch our previous class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Based on the assumption, the points, the important points, the how it's executing. So the explanation is completely dependent on the points that are discussed in our previous class. Coming to today's class, we have to design an NFA that accepts strings double one double zero only. For the same question, we already discussed about how to construct the DFA. So we will compare both NFA and DFA so that you will get a good understanding about NFA and DFA, both the concepts, how to write the logic. Coming to this example, double one double zero only means this string is accepted double one double zero, double one double zero zero not accepted, zero double one double zero not accepted. Anything other than double one double zero string is not accepted. Only double one double zero should be accepted. The input strings are zero and one. The input symbols are zero and one. Coming to the construction, this is our NFA. So from the beginning of our classes, we discussed that the base logic here is for understanding purpose. We are using the terms base logic like that, but usually we don't have any base logic in NFA or DFA for understanding purpose. We are using the terms from the beginning of our classes. Double one double zero means four consecutive numbers. We have to identify what's those numbers one one zero zero. Then we reach the final state. That is how the base logic is one. Whenever we find one one zero zero we are coming to the final state so this is our nfa let's try to understand more in depth why why this nfa works for our logic coming to this if you take double one double zero we move to final state okay it's accepted if you take this string zero double one double zero so what's the meaning here whenever you find zero on q naught we are starting from q naught whenever you find zero on q naught is there any transition mentioned on q naught about zero input no if there is no transition what happens in our last class we discussed that this machine is dead because this machine is no more means it is not going to take the next inputs it is stopping here it is not accepted so that's why if it starts from zero, if you if you find the in first input symbol is zero, there is no need to check the remaining things. This is the point we already discussed in our DFA examples. Let's try to compare both so that you will get a better understanding. So if you take Q naught, this is the DFA, the same question we constructed DFA. How we constructed? We did not construct a full DFA for understanding purpose. We, this part is enough. If you, if you find the first input character is 1, you can move forward. If you find the first input character is 0 means no need to check the remaining, remaining logic. That's why we are moving to dead state. No need to write the dead state here because this, this NFA is going to die. It is not going to take the remaining next input characters. That's why if the trans is not, is not mentioned, this NFA is no more. This point we already discussed. That's why it works. Double one, double zero. Take the next example. Double one, double zero. We reach to the final state. If after reaching the final state, still there are more elements, more inputs, it is not accepted. So that's why here we did not mention the transition on Q4 final state 0 or 1 no transition if you find 0 here this NFA is going to die it is no more. Okay this is the logic and coming to the second second question design NFA that accepts strings double one double zero as a substring. So we have to define NFA that takes double one double zero as a substring and means this type of inputs will be accepted zero double one double zero accepted because substring double one double zero is present in our string zero double one double zero double one double zero yes it is accepted one time is enough but uh, here we are having two times no problem one time is enough substring is consist of double one double zero this is accepted this is not accepted because we don't have double one double zero for this we have written that the base logic is whenever you find one one zero zero this is common we reach the final state but here we mentioned that 
after taking the input symbol 1 we are moving to q0 state and we are moving to q1 state uh, what's the meaning of that uh, one nfa one machine we are calling it as machine one machine is going to check the logic by taking the input and moving one step forward other machine is going to take uh, check the logic take the next input character check the logic again check the base logic again from the beginning that is what happening if you are having two transitions okay so this point this point is also very important the, the clearly explained in, in our previous class based on the assumption that you had that intuition how how machines are dividing how we are getting two machines from here by taking the first input symbol so that is how it is going to check so let's try to elaborate it more by taking the example suppose suppose if you take this input symbol 0 0 double 1 double 0 take this example 0 double 1 double 0 whenever you found 0 we stay here whenever you find the first one we stay here and we move to q1 means it is divided into two machines one one machine is going to check the logic by taking one step forward other machine is going to check the logic taking the next input symbol into consideration check the logic again from the beginning again from the beginning if the machine which already took the step if it lost rate if, if it lost the logic but the other machine is going to check the remaining input symbols that is how it works so whenever it sees double one double zero one of the machine will reach to the final state one of the machine is going to reach the final state so what we mentioned here this is on the second important point that's why we have chosen these examples so these points are very important to understand to get a give into get a good intuition about nfa so after reaching the final state we mentioned that if you take zero and one we stay on state q4 why we are going to stay on state Q, state q4 because our input is a substring we reach if any one of the machine reached reach to this state means we already check the logic double one double zero logic is a sufficient means in our string it's already satisfied it's already satisfied after that whatever input is considered no need to we stay on the final state because we already satisfied with what we need in our input in our question what substring whenever you reach here it's already there so that's why after that if you find any input symbols stay on final state let's compare with one more example this comparison is important let's do the same so take the second example third example nfa for last four characters are double one double zero the same logic is applied the base logic is double one double zero but there is a small change here here we did not here we mentioned 0 comma 1 here we did not mention 0 comma 1 with this the logic is finished why try to understand we have to understand this this is used many times in our coming examples so whenever the last four characters are double one double zero this logic says that let's take this example if you if you find double one double zero one time one of the machine will move here after that if there is one more character one what's our this logic says the last four characters should be double one double zero we lost that with this next input that's why we we did not mention the transition here so this machine will die okay but but who will take care of the logic the other machines the other machines which are going to start again from the beginning some of them will are in the middle those machines will take care of the remaining logic so this this input character this machine is going to die so so try to understand that visualize how our example is uh, in our previous classes that visualization is very very important uh, that's why the, we took 18 minutes of the class in our last class to understand how executes how nfa executes uh, okay and if, if you take that uh, if the last four characters are double one double zero any one of the machine will be in final state uh, so that is how we'll accept strings in the nfa so that's why we did not mention the transition here here we mentioned the transition because substring once we found 
no need to ch check the remaining things but here it is not like that even if it found still you have other characters means we lost the logic last four characters are not double one double zero that's why we did not mention the transition here on the final state so this is what you have to understand hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel uh, uh, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you